Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel and we are back again with the most important questions for Pilium 2020. Let's move on with the first question for the day. Consider the following statement regarding Epidemics Disease Act 1897. The first statement is, the Epidemics Disease Act empowers the state government to take special measures and prescribe regulation as to dangerous epidemic diseases. Second statement, the Act empowers the central government to take steps to obviate the spread of an epidemic, yani to curb the spread of an epidemic. Third statement, any person disobeying any regulation or order made under this Act shall be deemed to have committed and punishable offence punishable under Indian Penal Code of 1860. Fourth statement, the Act does define or give a description of dangerous epidemic disease. Which of the following statement is or are correct? A. 1 and only. B. 2 and 3. C. 1, 2, 3, 4. D. None. Now give yourself a moment and you can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section below. So, the correct state the correct option here is C1234. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statement. First statement, the Nuclear Command Authority of India was founded in the year 2003. Second statement, it is the authority responsible for command control operations, decision regarding India's nuclear weapon program. Third statement, it is an executive council Sorry, it has an executive council which is chaired by the national security advisor and a political council which is chaired by the prime minister. Fourth statement, India's first nuclear test was conducted in the year 1974 with the code name Operation Smiling Buddha. Which of the following statement is or are correct? A. 2 and 3 only. B. 1, 2, 3 only. C. 1, 2, 3, 4. D. None. Again, please give yourself a moment. And the correct answer here is C1234. So moving on to the next question. Ecolex is an information service on environmental law which is operated by A. World Bank B. Food and Agricultural Organization C. Both D. None So the correct answer here is D. None because it is an information service on environmental law which is operated by FAO, IUCN and UNEP. Let's move on to the next question. Which of the following seas share border with different countries? A. Caspian Sea shares the border with Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Russia, Iran. B. Black Sea, Georgia, Ukraine, Russia, Romania, Bulgaria. C. Aral Sea, that is Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. D. Sea of Azov, that is Russia and Georgia. So give yourself a moment here. Now here, the correct answer is C. Aral Sea, that is, it shares its border with Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. The rest, let's start from the number one, that is Caspian Sea. It shares its border with Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, Russia, Iran and Kazakhstan. D. The Black Sea shares its border with Georgia, Ukraine, Russia, Romania, Bulgaria and Turkey. And the last one is Sea of Azov. It shares its border with Russia and Ukraine. Georgia galat hai. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement. Number one. Person born outside India on or after 26 Jan 1950 but before 10 December 1994 are citizens of India by descent if their father was a citizen of India at the time of their birth. Second statement, any person born in India on or after 26 Jan 1950 but prior to the commencement of the 
1987 Act on 1st July 1987 is a citizen of India by birth. Third statement, people living in the territory of India as on 26 November 1949 automatically be became Indian citizen through the constitutional provision which came into force on 26 Jan 1950. Which of the following statement is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two and three only. C. One and three only. D. Three only. Now again, please pause the video. and mention the answer in the comment section here the correct answer is 3 only because hum pehle se chalu karte hain first statement mein galti yahan aati hai person born outside india on or after 26 jan 1950 but before 10 december year ki galti hai yahan pe so the year is 1992 Are citizen of India by descent if their father was a citizen of India at the time of their birth. Second statement में गलती कहाँ आती है? Any person born in India on or after 26 Jan 1950, but prior to the commencement of the 1986 Act on 1st July 1987 is a citizen of India by birth. So, moving on to the next question. Section 497 of the Indian Penal Code was in news recently. It is related to a homosexuality, b adultery, c prohibition of people assembling, d rape. So the correct answer here is b adultery. Because homosexuality comes under Section 377 of the IPC, prohibition of people assembling comes under section 144 of the crpc rape comes under section 375 of the ipc moving on to the next question consider the following statement number 1 the first battle of panipat was fought on 21st april 1546 between babar and ibrahim lodi Second statement: The Second Battle of Panipat was fought on 5th November 1556 between Hem Chandra Vikramaditya and the forces of Mughal Emperor Akbar. Third statement: The Third Battle of Panipat was fought on 14 Jan 1761 between Maratha forces led by Sadashiv Rao Bhau and the invading Afghan forces led by Ahmed Shah Abdali. Which of the statement given above is or are correct? A None. B. Two and three only. C. Both one and two. D. All. Now here, the correct answer is B. Two and three only. अब हम गलती देखते हैं क्या है. So the first statement says the first battle of Panipat was fought on twenty first April. ध्यान से सुनिएगा. The date is fifteen twenty six. Fifteen forty six. गलत है. Between Babur and Ibrahim Lodi. So, moving on to the next question. Agent Smith was in news recently. It is related to a a type of malware, b non-communicable disease commonly found in fruit bats, c a secret Russian nuclear facility, d climate cooperation between Japan, India, and China. So again. The correct answer here is a a type of malware. Moving on to the next question. Answer the following statement. Statement one: The cooperative societies are registered under the Cooperative Society Act, nineteen twelve. They are regulated by the Reserve Bank of India. The third statement: Anyona Sahakari Mandali, established in eighteen eighty nine in the province of Baroda, is the earliest known cooperative credit union in India. Which of the following statement is or are correct? A two and three only. B one and two only. C one two and three. D two only. Again, you can pause the video and mention the answers in the comment section. So the correct answer here is C one, two, and three only. 
Moving on to the last question for the day. Head count ratio is widely used as a measure of A. Poverty B. Unemployment C. Inflation D. Inequality So, the correct answer is A. Poverty So, that brings us to the end of the video. For more information of, on our various courses, please visit our website www.ashas.com and for more important questions of, for Prelim 2020, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.